Hiya. This week we take you back to the summer of 74. West Germany had won the World Cup, but England had failed to even qualify for the finals. The country was crying out for a man to put back the pride in our national game. And the FA chose Don Revy. Today, Leeds United directors announced that they have accepted the resignation of Mr Don Revy to free him to accept the appointment as England team manager. There's no doubt Revy had his critics, but as far as he was concerned, he was the top man. It is the top job in football, let's be fair. Any Englishman that um, is worth his salt would want to manage the England team. Green with envy, Cluffy was the surprise choice to replace Revy at Leeds. I just hope to maintain the standard. And if the standard has been the best, then what more can I do? The one thing that hasn't come here is the European Cup. I'd very dearly love to stick that on the sideboard. What happened next shook the football world. Bill Shankly announced his retirement as Liverpool manager and his return to family life. Oh, well, all the decisions are finally left with me, but they come into it too. I know their feelings and my wife's feelings and my daughter's feelings and that. But uh, it's, I would say it's, it's a family decision, really. And so Cup winners Liverpool met league champions Leeds United in the charity shield at Wembley. Clough led out his Leeds team for the first time, but realised it was Shankly's day, as he led out his Liverpool boys for the last time. It's Shankly's moment, and Brian Clough well aware of that fact. Keegan, good save. But it's going to go in and it's gone. Lower him up. Cherry. Oh, he took up such a good position. At 1-1, the charity disappeared as two old enemies came to blows. Free kick never on, and as that ball goes past, the figure all in white is Duncan McKenzie. And now what? More trouble off the ball. And Kevin Keegan having words with the referee. It rather looks as though the referee has taken stronger action this time. Keegan, who was sent off in Germany when it was a case of mistaken identity, and he's off here. And he's absolutely livid about it. Premier is off as well. They're both throwing their shirts down. And really, this is a side of English football, a face of English football we do not want to see. What do the players think they are doing? In a fitting climax to his 14-year reign as Liverpool's most successful manager, Bill Shankly finished his career a winner, thanks to a penalty shooter. Well, a happy end. Mr Stan Yaraz there, Ted Croker, Mr Smith, the chairman of Liverpool Football Club. But why did he quit at the top? Nobody was closer to Shanks than I was at Anfield. And as I walked into his house, this is maybe 18 months after he'd retired, he said, son, have a sit down. I'm certainly boss, you know. He says, I'm going to tell you what really happened, son. And I thought, jeez, you know. And then the next minute there was a knock at the door and it was his daughter and he had the, the two grandchildren and the two kids came in and the moment was broken. And I never got the chance again to find out what really happened there. The cameras were at Stamford Bridge on the opening day as newly promoted Carlisle, playing in yellow, made their first division debut against Chelsea. Still being watched by Harris, his clock. And Bonetti in trouble, and Green puts it in. Martin. This is good running by O'Neill. That's useful, and he scored!
Ipswich Town also started the season in good form. Burnley, the visitors in white. Lambert again. And what about that? Yes. And it's Brian Talbot. Lambert, Hamilton, Weimark. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat, I don't tip the boat over. Rock the boat, I don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat. We had to take into account that this was uh, the opening match of the season when. We had 67,000 people at Wembley, and, well, how many? On te looking at on television in the end, terrific. And it was a shock to the public. Scandalous, absolutely scandalous. Five weeks. Uh, I mean, to be banned for five weeks for uh, an incident where you're sent off in a football match, and like I said, it's never been heard of. Now, that, normally you were, you were sent off, it was a matter of two games or whatever. Now, this actually took in ten games, ten games at the beginning of the season, which is a horrendous thing. I don't know, they don't seem to be taking any blasted notice of me. You know, and I'm not sort of getting through to them enough, and uh, I'm not getting, I don't feel I'm getting the respect from some of the players that I'm entitled to as a manager. Uh, this may be a, a, a sign of the ch changing of the times, but uh, at the same time, I feel that if you don't get that, then you, you can't do your job as a manager. With Nicholson gone, Spurs are struggling in the league as they face Liverpool, minus Kevin Keegan, but with young reserve Phil Bursma in fine form. Through ball for Bursma. That was a lovely turn by Bursma and a fine shot too. 1 0 for Liverpool. Phil Bursma. Highway number nine. Liverpool on the attack all the time now, having a go at Ray Evans. Tennis Kennedy, miss hit. But Bursma was there and it's his second goal. Here is pushing Liverpool forward once again. This is Phil Thompson. And now it's Brian Hall. Bursma's coming in, and that's his hat trick. Phil Bursma again. It's Kennedy. That was Hughes. And the left foot for Emlyn Hughes. Lindsay. It's been Bursma's match with three goals already. Here he is again. Highway going to the left. This is Kennedy, and that's through. Liverpool's fifth and Ray Kennedy scoring in front of the cop for the first time as a Liverpool player. Man City are made of sterner stuff a week later during the top of the table clash at Main Road. Somebody. Well played Bell and driven across by Bell and this Marsh. It's just some of the forward, and there's Bell. Stewart's making tremendous strides to get up with him, and so is Summerby. Clement has lost his cap, and he's lost the goal as well. Scored by Stewart. Late September, and with ten games played, Ipswich City and Liverpool are making the pace. <laughs> 